Hey, what's up guys? And as you all know, um, in a few days, what did today's Sunday, so on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Okay, so in like three days, Wednesday, um, the final boss rush week is gonna come out and it's basically just gonna be all five of these weeks combined and then one extra boss, oh, sorry, one extra boss that we don't know. So I'm gonna give you um, how to do the boss rush, or like how to like how to build your team with that final boss. There's two ways you can do this. Um, two ways to build it. The way is basically if you have Aegon and if you don't have Aegon. If you do not have Aegon, I recommend bringing, where is he? Well, my Corvus is in AQ. Oh, I can use this Corvus. So any uh, high level Corvus, high level Ghost if you have, where is he? Oof, I don't, I guess. He's in AQ too, but any high level Colossus. Um, where's my Doom? Oof, they're both in AQ and AW, all that crap. So I need to find a three star Doom. Doom, and. Oh god, she is an AQ also. Okay, all these champs are AQ, except for Ghost. This is the team I would build if you do not have Aegon. Ghost, Quake, Corvus, Colossus, and Doom, they can do basically every fight, except for the final boss. We don't know who the boss is going to be. They said there's going to be 31 fights. And we only see 30 from the five weeks because it's the five weeks put together plus a random boss at the end. Unless that's just a typo. But this team could pretty much handle anything. I see these are really good five. But if you have Aegon, the team I would say you should put together, the dream team. You get Aegon. Um, well, I need to get Quake and Doom again, I guess. I will be using my six star rank three Doom and my five star Quake. But as it stands, I don't have them available right now. So this is the team I would build. You get Aegon, high level Doom, high level Quake. Um, wait, what am I looking for again? Oh yeah. You get a Nick Fury of any star, and then Deadpool X Force, if you have them. This is gonna be my team. It's gonna be my six star rank three Aegon, six star rank three Doom, and then five star maxed out Quake, and then my three star Nick Fury and five star Deadpool. You can use Nick Fury if you have him like as a high level for some fights. I don't, and I won't even be using him. I'm just going to be using three characters, these three. So if you look, um, the first week, this is what I'm, my, I'm planning to do. You can follow this if you want. So use Aegon in this first thing. Very easy. Just build him up. Use Aegon again here. Easy fight. Use Quake for Havoc. There is a way you can Quake Havoc, but you basically have to make it so... If, watch my week one video if you don't know how to Quake Havoc. I did a week one video on the boss rush. I think I did week two. I don't think I did three, four, or five because I was lazy. But week one, I showed you how to Quake Havoc. I think I used Quake for every fight. And I, yeah, I showed you how to Quake Havoc. So you can use Quake there. Quake on um, Mr. Sinister also. Then build um, a, um You can use Quake or you can build up Aegon more here or use Quake for Nick Fury. Either one, whatever you feel more comfortable. And then use Doom for the final boss. And you, I put the uh, Nick Fury and Deadpool X Force together because their synergy is for healing. After every fight, you um, or in the beginning of every fight, it takes away a debuff and gives you ten percent healing. So for Aegon, um, who I'm gonna be using for a lot of fights, and since I use suicides, it's gonna be very helpful. So just those three, three, these three characters can pretty much do whatever comes their way, unless the boss might change it up. But I doubt any boss could really. Stop a fully ramped up Aegon, Quake, and Doom. Next, you want to use Aegon for this fight. Quake or Doom for this fight, either one really. Build up Aegon more in this fight. Um, Quake on this fight. Aegon on this fight. Or Quake, and then Aegon in this fight. None of these nodes are really like that hard. They're kind of just like those characters, just with some nodes. Most of the nodes are pretty easy, though, to deal with. So that's the next five fights out of the way. Then you go into the next five fights, which is the week three champions. If they if they do it the way I'm thinking, they're just gonna put them all in order and like 30 fights straight, which is what they said in the forums. Next you got this Stella Suit Spider Man, egg on this fight. Next you got Miss Mysterio, egg on this fight. Then you got this Sunspot, you could egg on this fight. Next you got this Warlock, you can egg on this fight. You got Vision Arcus. You can Aegon or Doom, whatever you feel more comfortable. Doom is immune to the armor break, so he can't get the cold snap from Vision Arcus. And Aegon will just instantly shrug him off if you've used him for this many fights. He's probably very highly ramped up. 
And then you could use Aegon for this last fight, just a clairvoyant. So that week three is super easy. Um, I think the hardest week will probably be either five, one, four, or five. I don't know. They're all they all have a few difficult fights if you don't like a super beefy roster like mine. Next, the next five fights you'll run into. Elsa Bloodstone, just egg on this, easy. But watch out for Mixmaster. Um, Man Thing, Quake that, definitely want to Quake that. This fight might actually cause you to use a revive. You can use Aegon. Actually, you can use Aegon for this fight because you won't um, die of the poisons because you can just shrug them off. But if you do Quake this fight, watch out for Spite. It can screw you. You can't Aegon this fight, whatever you feel more comfortable with. But this fight might cause a death on your Quake. Um... Because the spike can miss time, you can miss time sign the spike. But if you just um are feeling it and you're in like the mood, you should be able to one shot that fight. Next you got Guillotine twenty ninety nine, egg on that, Mister Fantastic, just egg on that, Doom Quake that, Silver Surfer, Doom egg on, pretty much anyone you want. Actually, this fight actually does have life cycle, so Doom is really good for that one. And then you've already done. Congratulations, you've already done um. 24 fights. Why did I say five? I'm gonna say six. Each quest is six, not five. And then you go to the fifth week. You get the last 25 through 30 fights. And if you're playing good, you should have a fully ramped up Aegon. Still with most of his heals up. Um, Tis the Nick Fury and X Force synergy. Quake and Doom should be all healed up too. Um, next, just Aegon. This guy doesn't really matter. You might wanna. I think you can use anyone for this fight. I don't know if Aegon's damage will be screwed, because I know it guaranteed crits screw this guy, but I don't think Aegon's hits are counted as guaranteed, so I think you can just Aegon him, or Doom, whatever you want. You can um, pretty much use anyone for this fight. He has 80% critical resistance, so maybe use um, Quake. Quake Mojo, probably. You might be able to use Aegon, but I would just use Quake to save her. Mole Man, Aegon. And then the final Terax. You can use really anyone you want. Actually, you can't use Quake. Either Doom or Aegon, really. So, by that point, you should pretty much have killed 30 fights in a row. Shouldn't have died unless you make a mistake, which is definitely always possible. Hopefully, I'm going to go through it without any deaths. But, you know, it's always definitely very possible. Um, this team, you can throw in Nick Fury for uh, some fights if you have him high-leveled. But I think... Um, if you die with Nick Fury, the synergy doesn't work. But if you have a high level Nick Fury and you're confident, it's an easy one shot, and you know how to play the game pretty well, so you probably won't die anyway. But so yeah, that's just some advice. I don't have a high level Nick Fury, so I'll record my going through this whole thing, and I'll show you how to do each fight, like how to quake havoc and stuff like that. Is you can quake havoc, it's just like a certain way you have to play it, and. Uh, yeah, um, definitely do not use Aegon for Havoc that, or Doom. Aegon or Havoc, I mean, Aegon or Doom would be very bad. You'd pretty much just die, so don't use either of them. Um, but other than that, there's not that many, like, pain points. I'd say out of all 30 fights, um, the Havoc, Nick Fury in Week 1 might be dangerous. The Annihilus, Invisible Woman, and Ebony Maw could screw you if you mess up. If you have Quake, though, it shouldn't be that bad. Um... A week three, the uh, Mysterio Warlock, maybe Annoying Stealth Suit Spider-Man Evade, Vision Arcus, I don't know. They don't seem that troublesome. I feel like Stealth Suit Spider-Man might kill you if because of an Evade, which could be unlucky. Week four, Man-Thing is pretty annoying with his node combinations, and Doom is just Doom. Uh, watch out for Guillotine 2099's Invisibility. In week five, Mojo and Terex I would watch out for because those guys, those fights, as you know, can go very wrong very quickly. But this team, I think, is the best if you have the characters at a high level. Um, if you don't, I mean, obviously not everyone has the same roster. Also, I don't have a high level of Mega Red. I bet throwing a Mega Red on this team would also be very good because he's just a crazy character in general. Um... So, uh, depending on what your roster is, you can make different teams. But I think if you have these three characters, or five, I guess, this should be an easy team of just Aegon run, running through down the whole thing. And Quake doing the fights that he can't do, basically. And Doom for, like, a fight here and there. 
but um, it's mostly just Quake and Aegon gonna hard carry. This team might not work though, considering I think I don't know if this is a hundred percent accurate. I think on the forums I remember reading something like there's gonna be thirty one total fights, and from the five weeks together there's only thirty, so maybe they'll add like a final boss will be super hard or I don't know something that like you need a specific counter for. I really don't know. I'm excited to see. I'm excited for like a big nice challenge of thirty one fights in a row. I mean. Each fight has like a hundred to two hundred thousand health, I think. Hundred fifty to two hundred thousand health. Um, so I mean, once you get your Aegon ramped up, the fights are gonna be like like getting ten shotted and stuff like that. Like it's gonna be pretty easy. I'll record it so you can see. I hope it's a good challenge. Um, maybe even. I mean, I know some people won't like me saying this, but maybe even like make their health pools like like a global node like maybe a hundred percent more health on every fight just to make it even harder because for me i know most people won't want that but for like me i've ran out of content to do in the game i just did abyss 100 percent so i'm pretty much just sitting here waiting for some good hard content to actually challenge me i know for the majority of players i'd rather be like progressing players that'd be like no let's make it easier so you can get rewards and yeah i understand that that's fine but i'm just kind of wanting a challenge because if you look at my roster, I just, it's very meaty and stacked. I mean, once you get to this point in the game, it's like very hard to pull a new character. It's very hard to get like new characters, and unless they're like beyond God tier, it's hard to be excited. So, yeah, it's good and bad in its own ways, but yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give a like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me what team you think you're going to be using for the boss rush. I think it's not going to be that hard. I have a feeling it's going to be just Aegon running through it, but. Yeah, so tell me what you guys think, and yeah, see you guys in the next one. Peace.